Chess is an ancient game, but over the past few months, it's got huge again. Now, you might think that traditional esports are the only games with hype moments or hilarious mistakes, but Chess on Twitch is an absolute goldmine, and here are the best of the best. This is the top 10 Chess moments. When XUC joined the PogChamps tournament, nobody expected him to be some sort of chess god. They did, however, expect him to last longer than six moves versus Moist Critical. At first, it was only Critical who realized XUC had fallen for the trap. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. He just lost. But it didn't take too long for XQC to realize what was going on. Right away. So I'm not sure that I like the like the variational approach here. No, please don't. And it's too soon. It's too soon, Hikaru. We didn't even reach a climax. You know when I said it'd be fun to see a checkmate in four earlier? I was I was joking. It was I, it wasn't r real. There was joy on one side, disappointment on the other, but for the casters, there was only disbelief. All right, so we're gonna be watching this chess match here, guys. Um, it's between Moist Critical and XQC. Well, I guess that's the end of the chess match between Moist Critical and XQC. Another riveting bout between those two. Magnus Carlsen is the world champion in chess. He has been since 2013. The Norwegian camp is, camp is going crazy. And we have, and a, we world have a new champ world champion. Unbelievable. Magnus Carlsen. Champion of the world. So you might expect him to be used to big chess tournaments by now, even when they're online, but well, you'd be surprised. That's hard to imagine though, because he's been playing five days like this, so it is- <laughs> <laughs> That's right, at the Rapid Blitz 2021 tournament, Magnus showed up to his match against Hikaru shirtless. I wonder if that offers any kind of tactical advantage. At number eight, we have Resident Sleeper. This, I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna venture a guess that this young man is gonna hear from his manager about this afterwards. Now, after that last entry, you might be thinking that showing up shirtless is the worst thing you can do during a big chess game that's being streamed to tens of thousands of people. Well, not if this guy has anything to say about it. Or the chess moves on the board. <laughs> Do you recognize the player? Because I can't tell from the top of his head. <laughs> so we have a, we have pro chess league history here. This I, I'm gonna I'm gonna venture a guess that this young man is gonna hear from his manager about this afterwards. Coming in at number seven, we have Eric Hansen, a grandmaster who's not usually lost for words except for this one time. In a tense match with another Grandmaster, and with time on his side, Hansen could practically taste the win. His opponent was desperately playing for a draw, but surely Hansen had it covered. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. You drew. What's up? You drew. We're checking back in with XQC now for our number six entry with this big blunder. Oh no! 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 Okay, let me set the stage for this one. He's up against Foosley. He has his queen protecting his king, and Foosley has no pieces except for her king. The commentators are discussing the simplest way for XQC to close out this clear victory, but things are never simple when it comes to XQC. The simplest way to do this 
and he's doing a great job, is you want to keep your queen a knight's distance away from the enemy king, except when it's all the way in the corner, as I said. If you have your queen a knight's square away, then it's stalemate, because your queen will take away the, the remaining squares. I like that. It's a very stressful way to Don't remember. go king of five. Don't go king of five. It's stalemate. Oh, no! <laughs> no! 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 Next up at number five, we have the mountain and the moke hill. Squeeze the biceps. Make them explode. <laughs> I'm not Fill the pump. If you haven't watched Game of Thrones, then you might not know Halfthor Bjornsson, better known as The Mountain. He's a professional strongman that turned to GM Hans Neiman for some chess advice. I want to move the queen. I want to move the queen from mm. D to, to E. That's good. Yeah, that's great. That's great. Then you're then you're attacking. That's great. You can bring your queen into the attack. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. During a game, though, it was The Mountain who was dishing out the advice. Could chess weightlifting be the next big thing? I'm gonna get in some curls while you're playing. Just to practice. Oh, okay, okay. You, you do some bicep curls, champ. Squeeze the biceps. <laughs> Make them explode. I'm not Feel enjoying the it. Pump. Moving on to number four, we have XQC's beautiful fork. Now I have a, now I have a fork now. Oh my God, this is so beautiful. <laughs> A fork in chess is where your opponent has to choose which of their two pieces they want to save. XQC pulled one of these off, but things went comically bad from there. Oh my god! And if he takes, I take. He doesn't see it right off. Okay, last match. Let's go. Last match. Uh Next up at number three, we have Hikaru's pre-moving. I can also trade and take and take and if takes, I take, if takes, 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 queen e2, queen h4, g3, knight g3, check, c6, queen b7, knight h1, king there. I don't know what's going on. I'm just going to castle. I don't want to think too much. So pre-moving is the art of planning ahead before you make your move, something that only the absolute best players in the world can master. Will you ever be able to reach the same level of pre-moving as Hikaru, though? You tell me. Rook g1. Uh, rook takes h2 check, queen h4 check, queen h3 check, mate. Pre-move at all. <clears throat> and while that is insanely impressive, it's also very easy to meme on. I can also do, sorry, I, I can also do Hikaru, yeah? It's like, uh, bishop b3, 94, b5, 97, rook 7 rook 7 bishop a 7 line, probably king of 8, then probably c4, I got rook 8, I got bishop b3, I got knight 5 then I got bishop b6, and oh, it's got bishop a 8 I got c5, bishop c8, 6 8 6 8 6 8 97, <laughs> 95, bishop a 5 some bishop 4 bishop 1 knight 3 bishop 3 Oh, that's a pin. Yeah, why is it better? Rook is <laughs> Moving on to number two now, we have hands getting put on blast. Slow down. So Hans Neiman is one of the best grandmasters on the planet. Sometimes he likes to stream other people's games, XQC being one of them. Knight F3, checkmate in one man. Knight F3. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. I know you see it. As the game ramped up, Hans got pretty excited, which would normally be fine, but it was 5 a.m. And it turns out that Hans doesn't live alone. Knight F3, checkmate in one, man. Knight F3. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. I know you see it. I know you see it. No! Go no, slow down! Slow down. So Sorry, my bad. Sorry. Yo, my, sorry, I thought I was... And finally at number one, we have the Magnus Troll. We've talked about Magnus already in this video as the current world champion. Most people would fear playing him, but what if they didn't know they were playing him? That's what happened to Jan Gustafsson, a chess grandmaster who streamed a game against a Norwegian by the name of Salomon. Oh, we got oh, our friend Johan Salomon, who already crushed me yesterday. Is back. Aren't you playing for the Norwegian national team, Mr. Salomon? What are you doing here? Go to sleep. Prepare for your next opponent. 
Jan thought he was playing a random high-ranked Norwegian player, but he was actually facing off against Magnus Carlsen. Jan didn't know that, but he knew something was up. Also, why is this guy blitzing out every move? It's very confusing to me. He never thinks. Like, these moves aren't obvious. The penny never quite dropped for Jan, and he lost the game wondering how exactly this random user played like a literal world champ. Good game, good game. But yeah, some crazy moves there. Played instantly. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. That was a very strange game. Good game, Mr. Salomon. Very confusing game, really. <clears throat> All right then, which one of those was your favorite? Have you picked up chess since it exploded onto the Twitch scene? I'm a little bit rusty, but I'm thinking of getting back into it. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you subscribe on your way out the door, and I'll see you all in the next one. How the f does that happen? What the f happened? This is so bad! What a bad This is so misthought!